Hello YouTube and welcome to this tutorial on using the CAP 140 Autopilot which comes with A2A Simulations Cessna 172 aircraft. Now currently I'm in the default uh, Microsoft 172 because I first wanted to show you the behavior of the uh, default Autopilot in this aircraft. And this Autopilot is very simple to use and supposedly it is patterned after the CAP 140 but their behavior are very very different. So uh, I'm here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee and on runway 36 and I would normally I would go ahead and dial in altitude here that I was going to fly at and you can also enter a vertical speed but uh, by default when you press the autopilot and then the altitude button uh, 700 feet is the default vertical speed which is just fine for the 172 that's what I usually climbed out at so uh, let's set the trim to take off down here and we'll go ahead and take off and most of you are probably familiar with how this autopilot works but I just want to show you the vast differences in the two Okay, so once I got the airplane in a pretty stable climb, I'd go ahead and engage the autopilot, and I'd hit the altitude button. And you can see it captures vertical speed 700 feet per minute and it will climb to 2000 and level off just like we have set in here and of course it's very easy to change your vertical speed here just with your mouse rolling your mouse wheel up or down and your altitude the same way so nothing could be simpler in using this autopilot so now which now that you see how the default autopilot works let's see how it works in A2A's 172 Okay, here we are in uh, A2A's 172, which is a really great aircraft, by the way. And let's go ahead and take off, and we'll watch the default behavior of this autopilot. Alright, so autopilot and then altitude. And there we go. And right after hitting the altitude button, you'd think, see, it would it would just climb to four thousand, but it won't. And this is the problem I would have with the uh, the autopilot and I say well I need to arm it and I click arm and this is you can see what how much trouble I'm having with it I, I got it on 4,000 feet and I got it armed and it's currently in roll mode which uh, just levels the wings and you can see I can't I, I was not able to get this autopilot to work and it was very frustrating so uh, let me reset this and I'll be right back and I'll show you actually how this autopilot works. Okay guys, welcome back. Back in A2A's 172 here. Now, the way this autopilot works, and I had to read the instruction manual and it took a lot of uh, trial and error before I finally figured this thing out. But when you press and hold the autopilot button for two seconds, what happens is it will capture whatever vertical speed you're at when this this button button is pressed so let's uh let's see let's see that in action sixty nine 
that's Alright, let's get in and start the climb here. And on down trail. Okay, now let's let's press and hold the uh, autopilot button. There we go. It said capture 900 feet per minute and it's in the roll mode, which is only keeping our wings level. So now you think, well, it's going to level us off at 4,000 feet. Well, no, it won't. Let me go ahead and run this down to uh, uh, something that's closer to us. Let's, let me, how about 1,700 feet? Well, there we go. It actually it will uh, because it is now armed. I guess when I changed the altitude, it armed it. Now, once you see this vertical speed and the altitude is armed, you're free at will to change either your, either your altitude or your vertical speed. So let's let it go ahead and level off here at 1,700 feet. And you can see now this, alto, this autopilot is uh, working much more like you would expect it to. Alright, so let's say now, notice now that the uh, arm, autopilot arm and the VS for vertical speed is now gone. Uh, you can no longer change your vertical speed now, but you can change the autopilot. So let's say they tell us to climb up to 2,500. So we'll just roll it up here to 2,500. And notice it says the uh, altitude is armed, but we're not climbing. It's staying at 1,700 feet. Well, what gives? Well, what gives is to make it climb, you got to tell it to. you got to hit the altitude button, and that makes it go into vertical speed mode, and then you got to tell it how fast you want to climb. So I'll tell it 700 feet per minute. Now it will climb at 700 feet per minute to 2,500 and it will level off at 2,500. So let's, I'm going to expedite this. I'll just roll this down to 2,200. And we'll wait for it to level off. And look down here at the autopilot. This arm and the vertical speed will go away. As soon as it gets close enough to, to that there, now they disappear. Alright, so, so how would you engage in descent? Well, it's the same way. If you want to descend down to 1,500 feet, or we'll just say 1,800 feet. Again, it says 1,800 feet and the altitude is armed, but we're not descending got to press the altitude button first, then you get vertical speed, then you tell it how fast you want to descend. And that's all there is to it. Now, you're free at any time to go ahead and change your vertical speed or change the altitude that it's going to descend to. You can, like, go down to 1,500 feet if you like. But I don't want to. Let's level off here pretty soon. Let's go to 1,900 feet. And it's armed, so it will level off at 1,900 feet. And here we go. So that's all there is to using uh, this Cap 140 autopilot once you get used to it. Just select your desired altitude you're going to. And let's say we're going to climb to 5,000 just for grins. There's 5,000. It's it's armed. You think it's going to climb, but it won't. You got to hit the altitude button, and then tell it how fast you want to climb or descend, and you're well on your way. And since it's armed, it will stop at 5,000 feet. And that's all there is to it. I uh, hope this video tutorial helped you. Uh, like I said, it it drove me crazy. Uh, 
before I knew how to use this off pilot, I actually quit flying the A2A's uh, aircraft uh, because I was just so frustrated with the autopilot. And so now I know how to use it. It's pretty simple, actually. But you can see how much different it is than the default behavior from the default uh, uh, autopilot in the FSX is uh, 172. Okay, guys, that's it. I'll see you later in another tutorial.